So, we were just talking about technology. Alex from the Brock's Performance Engineering Department. I have my phone in my hand, which <laughs> had a conversation with Fabrizio, my Italian friend from Sprint Filter, and uh, his buddy Enzo. I got a WhatsApp message about four days ago where they were showing me this frame for the uh, P16 filter for the 2017 GSXR being printed. And uh, they said, Brock, we're going to print this and then add our P16 high flow material to it and ship it to you. And voila, four days later, we have a filter that fits perfectly into this bike. It's absolutely amazing. In the old days, we'd have to draw the part, dimension it, um, machine out a piece of aluminum or steel or whatever you want to make the uh, mold out for a plastic injection mold, inject it up, see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, start again. All over. Start weeks. All over. Right? Weeks, if not more likely months. Weeks and weeks. So in something like this, yeah, exactly, if not months. In something like this, you don't even have to make a drawing, right? You just, nope. I mean, you create it on the computer and send over a 3D model. Boom, boom. It's there. Parts in your hand. Absolutely amazing. So on that same note, I wanted to show you um, some of the parts that Alex has created for the new GSXR. Um, Alex, you want to sort of give us just a, just a rundown of, of what we've got here? Yeah, so we've been uh, starting off trying to develop our, our window links for the Gixxer. So with this we used uh, SLS printing. It basically just starts as a powder and melts the plastic down into the form that you want. Um, this gets us to where we can start testing some of the dimensions, fitment, whether things are going to expand and contract the way we would expect them to on the bike. And if we come to any kind of clearance or binding issues, we can address them. So to get a part like this from once it's designed to in my hand is typically about eight days, including shipping time. So normally, a part like this will take about six weeks. So we're able to save four weeks off each part. So initially, I had it in design here. There are some problems with it. It didn't, ex it didn't expand out the way I thought it would. So I redesigned. So I didn't have to wait, you know, four weeks saved on each product. I've already saved two months. So that's two months faster I can get this part in your hands compared to machining it. Nice. And then we've got some little things, you know, um, some mirror block offs that look nice. And then uh, we just made a couple quick, uh, quick changes to just sort of make them a little more streamlined, look a little nicer. Um, so these will be... Uh, they'll be machined out of uh, out of aluminum, and we may even do some carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, yeah. Yeah, they'll look nice. And then uh, something as simple as a as a kickstand. You know, you look at a kickstand, you go, "Wow, it's a kickstand." Well, it, it, it it's really uh, it's really a little bit more than that. You've got to worry about the adjustment. You've got to worry about the angle. You've got to worry about how the how the foot lays on the pavement. You don't want the sharp edge of the foot digging into the asphalt when it's hot outside you want it to sit sit correctly and the rotation angle of this foot really matters when it comes to that and the only way to do that is on the bike really Correct. correctly yeah. so to, to be able to print this out actually install it on the motorcycle check the lean angle and what what kind of lean angle are you using alex uh, usually around 10 degrees 10 degrees yeah. so we're actually checking the angle and then uh, uh something that's really cool here if we could uh, go ahead and look at the screen um you've got some if you want to explain your uh some of the so we can take a, a program like solidworks and run a software that they call simulation and this lets us check for where our high levels of stress might be or where we might have a failure in the product. So by utilizing that, I can make things thicker or beefier where it might fail. In areas where it's all blue, I can remove material and reduce weight from it. And that allows us to get these products as light as possible for your motorcycle. And as a racer, I've been doing this a long time, um, lighter, stronger means faster so 
um, even for your street bike. You know, nobody wants their bike falling over in the asphalt, but nobody wants to put a big, giant, heavy part on their bike either. Want it to look nice, work correctly, and uh, just be the best part that we can possibly put on there. So that's what we're doing here and trying to do it in a timely manner. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. A uh, little walk around the engineering department here. And until next time, Brock, Alex, we'll see you then.